Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be creating the 1971 Plymouth GTX from the Fate of the Furious. Now, this is going to come up to some debate. Uh, I've been asked to do this build a couple of times, and the majority of people have said to do it with the new Gauntlet Classic. Uh, now, whereas I can see where they're coming from, I also think the car I've chosen is a better option than the Gauntlet Classic. Uh, it's going to be up for debate, like I said. It's, it's going to be down to personal preference. But I think what I'm now going to use, that being the Shyster Deviant, suits a little bit better. There's some options which are going to look a little bit different to the actual Plymouth GTX from Fate of the Furious. But I think the overall look of this of this car is a lot closer to a GTX than what the um, Gauntlet Classic is, because obviously the Gauntlet Classic is supposed to be a, a, a classic challenger, whereas I'm trying to build a Plymouth. Two different cars all together, and I think this Shyster Deviant actually does a better job at recreating a Plymouth GTX, in my opinion. I think I think the the overall body shape is a lot better than the Gauntlet Classic in regards to um, you know comparing them to a GTX, a real life GTX. I think the Deviant has got more characteristics of a GTX. It's got a very similar front end, that being the splitter as well as the headlights and the headlight trim. Uh, just the, the side shot of the car is very similar too and also the rear is very similar. Uh, like I said, there are going to be parts of this build which aren't going to be changed. That being, the hood is going to be the biggest one, uh, where you can see it's got this big induction um, scoop cow hood, or whatever you want to call it, on there at the moment. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't smooth that out. So that is a downfall. But in my opinion, that is the only downfall of using the Shyster Deviant. And um, like I said, even though the Gauntlet Classic would be a good car to use I think the Deviant is better so with that being said <laughs> we're gonna carry on with this build and we're gonna start as always with 100% body armor then we're gonna go to the brakes get the race brakes for the bumper front bumper uh, now this is something we're not gonna have to change but actually I don't know that is quite close um, yeah man I think the stock one's actually the better one Shit, yeah, so you don't even have to change it. So you do stay stock for the front bumper. Now for the rear, um, I don't think we're going to have to change this either. I mean, because when we change the secondary colour, that's going to change the bumper anyways. So we don't need to be colour coding it. I suppose we could colour code it, I suppose. Yeah, what a fun I'll get a primary bumper. Why not? So we'll do that as we're here. And then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade for the exhaust. So we want to change it from a side exit to a rear exit and the ones we're going to go with is these rear dual there we go grill so now we want to single this up that's the way we want to make it look uh maybe black out the inside of it that might go good too because it's like a mesh um grill from the one in the movie not these horizontal you know these horizontal lines nothing like that that's nice but not for this build um, so yeah, I think the single, the single grill, but with a dark chrome. It's one of these two. I'm not sure if the colour is actually going to change. If I choose single grill, I might. I've got a funny feeling that's just going to stay like that. That dull grey colour. So you want to go with a dark chrome single for the grill. Uh, for the hood, like I said, we can't smooth this out unfortunately because I've, I have already looked at this. Uh, the the closest we can get to a smoothed hood is if you have an exposed charger <laughs> you know or we've got the big scoop and these are just like crazy way out of there uh, so we can obviously stick with this and stay stock but then alternatively you could lower the hood down a little bit but then you've got an exposed charger supercharger engine block whatever you want to call it and that's definitely not part of the GTX from Fate of the Furious. So we're not going to be purchasing that, even though it does look a lot nicer. Uh, we are just going to say stock for the hood. Skip the horn, 
lights will go get the Xeon headlights as always uh, for the livery and again I have I have had a flick through these before and I'm pretty sure that we can't get the livery that we need where it is the two um, vertical stripes just on the wing or the fender uh, depending on where whereabouts you are in the world we call them wings <laughs> and uh, yeah you got two vertical stripes like gold stripes going down there and we can't get anything like that unfortunately closest thing we can get to a gold stripe is this yellow pinstripe uh, but we're not going to be purchasing that because it don't have it so that brings us on to the respray we are going to go primary color and into classic and we are going to purchase black for the primary color and also we are going to go secondary classic and purchase black and then that changes yeah baby it changes the front up man it's starting to look awesome well happy with the way this is looking uh, so then we're going to go to the roof. We are going to grab the livery roof because then it lightens it up and it actually makes it the same colour as the rest of the car because the stock roof is really strangely black, like the, the darkest black you can think of. And uh, it's very odd to me. So we are going to go livery for the roof. Spoiler, uh, we want to get a low level, well, not that one, it's one of these bad boys. There we go, low level spoiler. I'm happy with that. Looks awesome. Suspension. Uh, I think we'll drop it a little bit, not too much. Yeah, I think I think the race suspension is a little bit too low. I'm thinking maybe sports suspension. That looks good. Transmission, we're going to get a super transmission and the turbo tuning. So next we're going to go to the wheels. This is going to be a tough one for me because I haven't checked the wheels as of yet. So I'm looking at them for the first time. So hopefully we can find something which is pretty good. So after skipping through a few of these different categories, I have come back to the SUV category and I found that these M-powered rims um, are probably the best ones to go with. If you've got a better idea, let me know in the comments down below, but I have looked through all the categories, you know, two or three times and I've always come back to these M-powered. I think these are the closest ones to the one in the movie so i am going to purchase them for this build uh, like i said if you do find uh, that you've got a better option or think you might have a better option to these ones let me know in the comments down below i'll be interested to see what you guys think uh, on a wheel on a set of wheels for this for this build uh, but yeah like i said i think empowered probably match at the closest for me um, and at the moment is the colors are pretty good but i don't want jet black i think carbon black is always a little bit nicer for rims it lightens up a little bit nicer so uh, that's what i'm going to go with for the tires obviously i'll grab the bulletproof tires if you can and this car doesn't have any window tint so we are going to leave that bad boy where it is and as you pull out of ls customs you will see the choice of deviant actually does a really really good job as the 1971 plymouth gtx from fate of the furious and I think it looks awesome, man. Like I said, there are going to be people in the comments which are going to complain about this <laughs> and said you should have used this vehicle, you should have used that vehicle, which is fine. You know, it's perfectly fine. If you want to use them vehicles, carry on and do that. But I've looked at a few of these different cars and I think the Shoyster Deviant, like I said right at the beginning of the video, plays a better part as a Plymouth GTX than all the other vehicles in GTA. All the other G vehicles in GTA are close they're okay you can use them you can kind of make it work but i think the deviant is um hands down the closest one to the gtx in gta 5 uh, but like i said if you don't agree with me let me know in the comments down below i'd like to know what you guys think of this build and uh give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more gta 5 content and until next time i am out adios Thank you.